Everyone knows Claude Code is the most powerful AI coding tool ever made. But what if I told you there's a secret workflow I discovered that will help you build money printing apps 10 times faster? In this video, I'm going to go over that workflow step by step. And if you stick with me until the end, I personally guarantee you, you'll be building significantly faster with Claude Code. Let's get into it. So this right here is the gist of the top secret workflow I'm going to be showing you in this video. Basically what we're going to be doing is spinning up a bunch of AI agents with Claude Code that are going to be working with us to build our apps significantly faster than if you were just using Claude Code. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how we're going to use Claude Code as a senior developer for our app. Then I'm going to show you how we're going to spin up a bunch of interns that do small little tasks for us while Claude Code is working. And as all those developers are going and building for us, I'm going to show you how we'll spin up a ultra smart CEO that's going to be running our business for us and orchestrating all the AI agents as we go. I promise every step of this is about to blow your mind. So let's start with our senior developer who will be building the main part of our app for us. What we're going to do is we're going to open up Claude Code inside a cursor. Cursor is free. Make sure to get that. And then Claude Code, I'll also have the link down below if you don't have that yet, which you're crazy if you don't have that yet. And we're going to open this up in Cursor. So once you have your terminal open in Cursor, make sure you type in Claude after you've gotten Claude Code installed. That will open up Claude Code and we're good to start going with our senior developer. So Claude Code in this workflow is going to be our senior developer that'll be scaffolding out our app. So we start here before we start hiring our interns to do little tiny tasks. So let's start building out our app with Claude Code. What we're going to build in this video is a 3D world where we'll have AR avatars we can talk to. So as our senior developer, Claude Code will go scaffold out our app, build out all the main functionality, and then we'll move on to our interns after to start building on top of that. So here's the prompt I put in to build this app. Feel free to build this app along with me. And the best way to learn is to build along. I want to build a 3D room with 3JS. 3JS is a really nice 3D framework for JavaScript that helps you build 3D worlds very easily. In this 3D room will be an avatar we can talk to. This avatar will be powered by the OpenAI API so that we can chat with it and ask it questions. Please just build the room the avatar and the AI functionality so we can talk to the avatar, right? So we're just going to have our developer to start building out the app for us. Then we're going to go into the interns and the CEO. So I hit enter on that. Any main functionality, any main coding, any big features we build out will all be done with our senior developer, which is Claude Code. Because Claude Code is by far the smartest coding AI out there, it's going to be the best at building out really big functionality like what we just gave it here. I did this all in planning mode so that we can quickly read over the plan, but it looks like they're gonna set up the app. They're gonna build the front end structure, the back end structure, as well as all the 3D and chat functionality. Read that over looks good to me and let's hit enter and that's going to start building out with our senior developer as our senior dev works now I'm going to show you the next part of our workflow which is going to be our army of AI agent interns that are going to tackle all our other tasks for us so our senior dev who I just introduced you to is going to do any sort of main functionality we want in this app. But now what we're going to do is we're going to utilize brand new functionality inside Cursor to start spinning up intern agents that are going to do work for us while our developer works. These interns are going to be amazing at setting up small pieces of functionality in our app. So we can have an intern go and start putting decorations in our 3D room. We can have an intern go and start putting in small features like model pickers so we can have our avatars use different AI models. We're going to spin an intern up that's going to go and do marketing research for us and write us tweets for our announcement video. We're going to have a security intern that I'll show you how to spin up that's going to go and make sure our app's secure. We're going to have a whole army of AI agent interns supporting our senior dev. This is going to unlock productivity you've never had before when building with AI. And real quick, before we spin up our interns, in order to get our interns working, we need to have our code on Git. It's a requirement of background agents and cursor to have your code on Git. So real quick, I'm going to show you how to get this code on there. Feel free to go to github.com real quick and set up an account if you haven't already. Then once you've set that up, make sure to create a new repository. I'm going to call this 3D avatar. We're going to make this private and then I'm going to create the repository. Now we have a URL for our GitHub. All we got to do is press copy on that. Once we have that URL, all we have to do is go back to our senior developer and say, please push this to GitHub. 
and then we paste in the URL that we just got from the other screen. You hit enter on that, and our senior dev will go and push this code to GitHub so we can start spinning up our AI intern agents. Make sure to just hit yes along the way as it's going. All right, so we have our code on GitHub, our senior developers working to set up our application. Now let's spin up those interns so we can have a bunch of employees working on our app at the same time. And this is going to write code faster than you've ever seen before. So here's how we spin up our interns that will be supporting the senior dev. You're gonna open up your cursor sidebar. That's why it's really important you open up Claude code in cursor is because you can unlock all this other functionality inside cursor. So inside our AI agent side panel in cursor is this little cloud icon here at the top. These are your background agents. These are going to be the interns that are gonna work for us and support our senior dev. So I'm gonna show you how to set up four AI agent interns, but you can set up as many or as few as you want. So I'm gonna set up two interns to build out functionality for us. And I'm gonna set up two interns. One will be our security intern. The other is gonna be our marketing intern. So let's start building out some feature interns first. So let's build out these interns. First one, I'm gonna have build out 3D decorations in our 3D space. So I said, I want you to build out 3D decorations in our space. Please put chairs and plants in our space. So you hit enter on the command and our background agent, our intern's going to get to work. You see this there? The intern's working, so it's building out the code for us. Let's spin up a couple more interns. So I'm gonna do another one. I want you to put a model picker on the screen so I can change the AI model of the avatar. Boom, that intern's going. We now have two interns working for us. Now let's spin up a third intern. These next two are critical. I always like to have a marketing and a security intern going just to make sure our app is secure. There's no holes that when we ship this to production, it can get hacked. And also just to come up with ideas for marketing. So we're gonna say, I want you to be our security intern. Please check our app for best security practices. Boom, spinned up another one. Now we have three AI agent interns going for us. And then lastly, let's do our marketing intern. You're our marketing intern. Please build a marketing plan and write some tweets. Boom, hit enter on that. Four AI agent interns going. So just to recap what we've got going on so far in our workflow, we have Claude Code, our senior dev, building out our 3D environment. And now we have four AI agent interns who are building out small functionality for us. Two are building out features. One is checking on security, which is really, really important. And the other is building us a marketing plan all at the same time. What you were doing before, if you're just using Claude Code or just using Cursor, is you were hand-holding one AI the entire time, building one single path. Now we have an army of agents working for us and building out our app simultaneously, which is way faster, but we're not even done yet. We still have another stage of our workflow to go, which is our CEO. I'm gonna show you how to spin up a CEO in a second and how we're gonna use it. But before we get to the final part of our top secret workflow, let's check in on our senior dev real quick, see how they're doing and see if they finish setting up our app. Looks like our senior developer finished their work. One small thing we'll have to do here is add our OpenAI API key to our .env file so that our AI functionality is enabled. If you're following along with us, make sure to go to openai.com, go to the platform and get your API key and put it into .env. If you're just watching along, we'll move on to the next step now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this app out. Let's run it right now. So we're gonna do npm run dev in our terminal. Then I'm gonna pop open another terminal and I'm gonna do npm run server to run our server. That's going, okay, so it looks like we're running now. Let's open this up. Okay, we pop open our browser and look at this. We have a 3D world. Oh my God, this is so sick. This is, look at this. We have this 3D avatar. Let's talk to our avatar. Hello, are you there? Enter. It's so, hello, I'm here ready to assist you. How can I help you today? We're talking to our 3D avatar. It has the AI functionality. And as you can see, the intern added the decorations, added the snow. This is actually looking pretty cool. I like the snow. This is looking really cool. The whole thing looks pretty cool. It looks like, it looks pretty vibey. We, we built this pretty much with one prompt to our senior developer and a couple prompts to our interns, but we're not done yet. We're gonna go to our CEO. We're gonna go to the final part of our workflow in a second. But our interns and our senior dev, 
I think did a pretty damn good job here, don't you say? This is the power of having an entire AI army working for you. You can build really cool apps like this really, really quick. But we're not done yet. Let's move on to the third and potentially most important part of our top secret workflow that's gonna make you 10 times faster with Claude Code, our CEO. All right, so let's get into building our CEO. I showed you how to spin up a senior dev with Claude Code. I showed you how to use background agents for our interns. So we have a bunch of AI agents coding at the same time. What you're gonna find with this workflow is you'll have a decent amount of downtime. What do you mean by that? Have you ever used Claude Code? You gave it a command and it just started working for 20 minutes? Let me ask you, what did you do during those 20 minutes? Be honest. I can take a guess and the guess probably looks like this you were probably doom scrolling like crazy, right? That is a huge waste of time. A big part of this workflow I talked about is efficiency, using our time efficiently. So when our senior dev and our interns are working, instead of doom scrolling, we're gonna be working with our CEO, our CEO that will be running the entire business for us. Now, how do we talk to our CEO? That's a great question. We're gonna do it through Claude Opus 4 inside of Claude. So I'm inside Claude here. You can go to claude.ai. Here's where we're gonna spend all our time while our developers are working. Instead of wasting our time scrolling social media, which I Pretty sure that's what you do when your AI is building. We're gonna spend time with our CEO that's gonna help plan and build our app for us. So I'm in here. If you're not on a premium version of Claude, that's totally fine. You can use Claude Sonnet. I like to use Claude Opus. The reason why I'm using Claude for this use case is I just find Claude to be the most creative out of all the AIs. I think ChatGPT-03 might be the smartest, but Claude, honestly, for me, is the most creative, and so that's why I like to use it for creative roles like this, like being a CEO. So here's the prompts we're gonna use to set up our CEO, and I'll put this down below as well, so feel free to pause, copy, and paste it into your own instance of Claude. Hi, I'm building out a 3D AI avatar and cursor right now. It's a 3D avatar I can chat with and ask questions to, so you're gonna describe what your business is to the CEO. I want you to be the CEO of the company. Whenever the AI is building, I'm gonna come to you and chat with you and get your advice and guidance. How does that sound? So I'm gonna hit enter on that and that's gonna spin up our CEO that we'll be talking to while our coders code. Sounds perfect, I'm ready to step into the role of the CEO of your AI avatar company. All right, so we have our CEO spun up. Let's do this. We wanna use our time efficiently while our interns and our senior dev are coding. There's a few things I like to do with my CEO while my interns are going. I like to build out a roadmap for the app. I like to get advice on monetization strategies. And I just like to get career advice from my boss, to be honest with you. You know what your job, you have sit downs with your boss. It's not always for instructions. Sometimes you have career advice conversations. So I use the CEO to talk about what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life to get advice. But let's do the first thing first, which is building out a roadmap for our app. So we're gonna start with the roadmap. And I said, right now we just have the AI chat functionality set up with the 3D avatar. What would be a good short-term roadmap for our app of functionality we can build for it? And I'm gonna hit enter. And now our CEO is gonna get to work for us and build us out a roadmap. So instead of you going here and just doom scrolling for an hour while the AI chat's working and I know what you do Claude code builds for five minutes but you end up doom scrolling for half an hour and you lose a ton of time instead what we're doing is we're being productive chatting with our CEO okay so here's our roadmap let's see what we got emotion and expression system so the avatar can give emotions voice integration so we can actually talk to our avatar idle animation so the avatar walks around and breathes customization options so we can customize the way the avatar looks I like this this is pretty cool so here's what we do we now have a roadmap we're getting from our CEO. Here's how everything comes together. We're now gonna take one of these, let's take idle animations for instance. I want our avatar to walk around and have expressions while it's sitting idle. Let's go back into cursor and what we're gonna do is Let's spin up another intern that will work for us. The best part about these interns is they're free. If you're hiring interns in real life, you're paying them $100 an hour. Now that we have our virtual AI interns, we can take our roadmap from the CEO and paste it into our intern and just say, please implement this. And now our intern's going off and we have a fifth intern working for us and implementing functionality. This is how you get efficiency out of your time with AI. Instead of sitting there like you normally do and just sit and talk to one AI, watch it work, do nothing idly, 
and then once it's done, hand hold it to the next step. Instead, what we're doing is we're having a whole lot of AI work for us. We're having the senior dev work for us like you normally would, but now we're layering on interns that are gonna add small pieces of functionality that are making sure our app is secure. And then on top of that, during downtime, when we normally just sit there and doom scroll or watch YouTube or play video games or do nothing, we're talking with our CEO who's building out us a roadmap who we then can feed to interns to work and build out more functionality. This workflow right here is how you get maximum efficiency, maximum productivity out of Claude Code. You have all these unbelievably powerful AI tools at your fingertips. You might as well combine them together so you can build incredible things. If I hear from any of you, you're doom scrolling when you're using Claude Code ever again. I'm blocking you from my channel. I don't know if that functionality exists, but I'll figure it out. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a ton from this. If you learned anything at all, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. All I do is show you really awesome workflows with AI. Leave a like if you learned anything and I'll see you in the next video.